Hey guys, I am gonna do some late night work tonight because I've been busy all day. And I want to just see if people are on. <laughs> so we'll just give it a minute. Oh, here we go, we've got some people. That's just me so far. Hey Debbie. Hi Barb. I'm gonna show a few things. Mary, Carissa, I wanna show a few things. I made some boards and I wanna show you those. Um, that's weird, it says invite Aaron to, your, to be a guest. You know you can invite people to be a guest and they can um, talk on here. All right, so Thank here's what I did. Here. I bought some chalk paint and I bought, hey Terry, I can see you Terry, hi Teresa. So I bought some chalk paint and I've been really kind of, um, I never thought that I would uh, actually do any painting, just boards, like not, not artistic painting. But I had painted the one chalk board the other day, or the black, the wood black. So here is just a, oh, it's. Hmm. Why is it doing that? Hmm. I'll have to I'll have to show you on the other way. Um, whoops. Hi Karen. I need to um mute this. Well anyway, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and show you my boards because it keeps going um out of focus. So I wanna tell you about this super awesome transfer that I just got. It is so hot that right now it's on back order so the only way to get it is to order it from me and it will be coming in October or to order some artwork that I make for you with my transfer it is the this is the old vintage truck and wait there are four more transfers you can put a load of pumpkins in your truck watermelons in your truck you can put um, shipping boxes, crates in your truck, or a tree, Christmas tree. And then they have tree farm, um, watermelons. Teresa, you can get it in October, it's coming, I know. And seriously, October, November, you're gonna want it for, you know, later on anyway, if you're gonna do the tree farm, which is Christmassy. Um, then there's one that says Seaport Harbor Shipping Company, and this has been, um, just having the anchor too has been really popular, so being able to do that. But wait, there's more! Um, evergreen, um, that's for your tree farm or whatever. Pumpkin patch, which we're going to use tonight. Pip your, pimp your pumpkin. No. Pick your pumpkin, and then, um... Seaside. And now I'm thinking, this is, is this backwards to you? It's backwards to you. So, backwards. so I'm sometimes just flighty and I wasn't even thinking. I'm going to flip the camera over and then you guys are going to get to see a lot of what I have been working on. Okay, so hang on one second. Got to get it just right. Okay. So, here you can see the transfer. There's four sheets. You've got the evergreen for the um for the tree, like the Christmas tree. So you've got evergreen, you've got this in the back of the truck, tree farm, pumpkin patch, seaside crates and barrels, farmers market, vine ripen. So look at all these that come in the exact in, in one transfer. Um there's your tree farm, there's the crates and the tree. But today, I'm gonna do the truck and we're gonna put a load of pumpkins in the truck and look, one's like falling off the um, truck, which is super cute. And we will have pumpkin patch going across. Now I'm gonna do it on a, um, just on this blackboard, but I wanna show you what I've been working on. So, I wanted to like just play around with this stuff. I got some chalk, furniture chalk paint and I got some black chalkboard paint. And Aaron had 
Aaron just had some pine boards out in the garage and I just had him bring them in and I just took all the scraps. Like I didn't care what size. So this I painted a really nice gray. It's called vintage gray. And so that looks nice. And it's a, you know, like a chalked finish. So it's um, nice and smooth, but it's kind of got that chalk look to it. And I was going to use this until I opened my box that I got and found out that it was um, this and it won't fit. This is too small. So stay tuned. I will be using the gray very soon. This is what I'm really excited about. So I took one of the pine boards and hopefully this comes across as nice as I want it to. I took one of the pine boards. I washed, I uh, painted it in cotton white. Um, the chalked paint. So it was white. Then I took some just Minwax min wood finish, just like a dark wan walnut. Yeah, I can't talk apparently. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Dana. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Denise. So hi, Dorena. So I, wa I wiped the board with that stain. Then I wiped it off and I ended up waxing my board um, and I'm letting it set overnight because, um, but anyway, it's got that nice vintage look. So hi, Denise. So I'm going to, um, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on and I'm gonna make some bigger boards like this because I think, me too, Dana, I absolutely love it. I am gonna make some bigger boards and I feel like, um, this would just, it's just like a really cool vintage look and, or like antiqued look, um, to do some really cool, uh, decor. And I think, and I don't want to say it because it's September, but I think our Christmas colors are going to look really nice on this. Like make some really cute vintage Christmas signs to decorate. I think I'm going to have like the best decorations for Christmas this year. So, you know, what do you think? I'll probably do some workshops, maybe prepare some boards, and then we'll do like some workshops for that. Okay, so back to um, what I was going to create tonight. Um, all of, when you get your transfers, they come like this in sheets, and they have these lines, and we have to cut them apart. I literally just got this transfer and so I'm going to have to cut it apart. And you can see the truck. You can put the truck like this and it looks cool. And it would just be like, well, I'm going to use elephant gray. And it would just be elephant gray and then the black would show through. But then I'm going to use this bottom part, which will layer on top. And it will be um, like a darker, it's going to be a darker gray. I'm just trying to go pretty simple. I asked my husband what colors I should use and he said, and this is because all week he's I've been harassing him about colors. He put my kit my son Easton in an orange and brown shirt. Very little brown. Um it was orange and brown on both sides and then he um put him in like royal blue <laughs> Like very bright blue pants, like shorts. And I was dying. I was like, did you seriously put him in that? And he was just going to preschool, daycare, whatever. It's like Florida Gators colors. It is. But, okay, so it's totally Florida Gators colors, but I don't care. Because to me, it didn't match, especially with... Or Goebbels Tigers. Oh, my gosh. He, yeah, and he won't. So he goes, you need to make the truck orange and, like, a royal blue. And I just had to look at him and, like look away because he makes me crazy with all that stuff that he's he thinks he's funny I don't think he's funny I should move this up hilarious. so you, yeah you hear that he thinks he's hilarious I bet you guys can see it better if I do it up there or oh no there so now the comments won't cover the truck because I've got it down my, I, so 
my daughter and I rearranged the way my room is and my, um, my like little studio where I do videos, I made her help me. And, um, then I couldn't figure out where to hang my camera, my phone, um, because apparently it just, I don't know. I don't know the struggles. I have three different phone, like, holder things. And does the solid part go first? Oh, that would make sense. Oh, my gosh, Dana. Thank God you're on here. I am 100% not with it today. It has nothing to do with anything. I am just, like, super <laughs> tired. <laughs> You know, I kept looking. I, I seriously, I went over this in my head like 20 times. And I would have done it and looked like a fool, Dana. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hi, Jessica. Thanks, Dana. I, I love you, too. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, do you have this one, Dana? <laughs> well, I until I was looking at it and telling you guys about it, I literally was like, man, I don't know which one should go first. Like, should this go first or should that go first? And I, oh, I'm such an idiot sometimes. But that's okay. I make people laugh. <laughs> uh, but but um, like I said, so this transfer is not available, but we can order it when it comes in in October. Or you come to... One of my, um, one of my BYOB parties, and you can use it. My goodness, I just broke a stick in my chalk. So I just had a BYOB party last night, and we had 12 chalkers. We had 12 people here, which is awesome. My basement was quite full. We had a quite eventful night, too. So I'm going to do like a dark, whoa. Maybe I should do light and dark. Light with dark over it. Okay, so my husband just made a decision for me. Let's hope that it's the right one. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't want the light to wash out in the dark. So you put the light down first and then the dark accents over. Alright, well I hope it looks good. I don't know. I don't know. Aaron It's chalk. He's not oh it's chalk. He's not exactly an artsy guy. <laughs> uh, he played, he had to coach football in like the 100 degree heat today. So, um, but they did have like tents and stuff down on the field. Thank goodness. And Ryan got a tackle, a legit, a legit tackle. He came home. Yes. I know, but I'm proud of him. Yeah, Dane, oh, Denise, um, yeah, so I don't get to see my husband hardly ever. So he came down and he's like, what are you doing? I'm going to watch TV. And <laughs> he put on the game and I said, uh, would you kill me if I go live? And he was like, oh, just mute the TV. Yeah, A.A. Ron. He is A.A. Ron. All right. So we did the little do do do. Oh, why did that happen? Didn't know that's so impressionable, Man. Jessica. What she, uh, you are not, I don't know, maybe people just like to laugh at you. I'm just going to fix that up before I even do anything. I don't know what happened if I just didn't have, um, yeah, if I just didn't have it, I don't know, maybe there was a bubble. Oh, you know what? I have to remember this. Every time there is a wide open space for chalking, um, you really need to make sure that you are, um, oh, pff, that you don't have bubbles because so, oh my God, I don't know if I should be chalking tonight. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. This car is going to look, this truck is going to look so vintage. It's going to be amazing. 
It's going to be like so beat up. <laughs> it really is easier than I'm making it. It really is. But that's okay. I know. Oh, it's so... All right, let's get that dry so that we can move on to the fancy, fancy part that actually looks like a truck. Oh, man. So I took Easton to a... Whoop, I took Easton to a birthday party today at the roller skating rink where he has never roller skated before. And... I'm walking around. I wasn't roller skating with him, but Emma was roller skating with him. And um, I was like, Easton, you are doing great. And he's like, I am great. Oh, Jessica, you can laugh at Aaron all you want because I do. Anybody can actually. <laughs> it's FFS, Jessica. Every time I have typos, when I am typing, it's FFS. All right. I'm hoping that the dark will actually cover up all the junk that I did. Aaron's, I don't know if he's memorable. Um, like I said, I don't really know. But anyway, the whole... Uh, the whole roller skating thing, that was hilarious with Easton today. All right, so now, thank you, Dana. I am going to line this up. And, and also, you can kind of, so you can see through parts of it. And I guess, my gosh, this is harder than I thought. I don't, I don't know. All right. That's it. I'm so nervous. Because I absolutely adore this transfer. I wasn't even going to show it. I swear you, I wasn't going to show it because we can't get it. It's not back in stock till October. But... Several of my people wanted it, and I think I should just show it because we can order it. Hi, Paige. Hi, Robin. Okay. Now we're going to do the dark. So I got my dark, my charcoal. And I think I need another big angle squeegee. That's what I need another one so I can do that because it's so much faster oh, I'm such a mess maker when I create and I also concentrate a lot and then I forget to talk Tomorrow, we're having Easton's birthday party. He actually, his birthday is not till next week, but somebody is leaving on a fishing trip, and I'll tell you, it's not me, and it's not Easton. Hi, Kendra. Oh, yeah, Aaron on the golf course. Do you remember that? Aaron? Had to pay for a yeah, he had to pay for a broken window. When we went to Mexico, Aaron went golfing with some guys and completely put a and ball. Ladies. Oh, and okay, and ladies. Sorry, I didn't go, so I didn't know. But he completely put a ball through a window and had to pay. How much was it? Like $25. Like $25. Mexico, Mexican glass. Wasn't that expensive? Okay. All right, I'm scraping. I think it's going to be good. All right, set that aside. And peel. 
Oh yeah, Denise, I, we haven't forgotten about it. We we went golfing. I don't really golf though. Ooh, I like it a lot. Oh wait, what was that for? Oh shoot! You know what? It's fine. Urgh. Sometimes I do that. It's an old beat up truck, right? Somebody tell me that it's okay. Did you get right up or enough? Um, it just stuck a little more than the others. And I truly could like go back in and try to fix it, but I feel like it's an old beat up truck and it's gonna be okay. This is a vintage piece. Very vintage. Hey, Callie. Yeah, it's just a bit of rust back there. The paint's peeling off. You can just see the, maybe you just see the underbody. I don't know. Is that a word? Is that a thing? Tell me what it's called. <laughs> Under the paint. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Amy. Oh my gosh. You should see some of the stuff Amy does. She has amazing artwork. I've been awed by her for years and years. Okay, pumpkins. We're doing pumpkins. Maybe I should, before I touch this, maybe I should just do my pumpkin patch words um, before I primer. Primer, yeah, maybe it's just like the primer that's, I don't know. Primer's great. Primer's great. <laughs> No matter what, my husband's not going to let me um, have any comfort in the fact that the paint is coming off my vintage truck, which I think is just fine. fine. Thanks. I think it does. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This week, I have been cra crazy busy. Um, lots of chalking going on, like, daily. And... Um, I've been out with parties, letting people earn free stuff. P.S. While you're watching, if you want to um, share my video, that would be amazing too because um, word of mouth is like the best way, best way to tell people about me. Okay, so this is going to be a pumpkin patch. Well, it's not a pumpkin patch, but you know what I mean. We're going to have pumpkins in here. And then I feel like we're going to pick our own pumpkin. Do you guys feel that way too? I think so. Because we have, because we can. I didn't think about what color I should make my words. I was just trying to do like simple, not too difficult, not too many colors. What do you think, Aaron? Keep I know. It simple. Keep it simple. So what does that mean? Ooh, do I want my <laughs> pumpkin patch homegrown or do I want it? Um, pick your own. I think we're, we're not picking our own because if we pick our own, why would there be a truck full of pumpkins? Right? Or no? Unless you've got a big family. Do I completely... Hi, Leslie. Hi, Kim. Do I um, think too much about this? Maybe we don't pick our own. Maybe we don't. I get on here and I think I double. Th I... No, you pick your pumpkin. That's a truck on the roadside. And you have to go pick one out of it for yourself. That's not your truck. Okay. So we agree that we can pick our own pumpkin? Yeah, you can go pick your pumpkin out of the truck. Somebody's selling them on the roadside. Okay. Because this is a cute sign that says, pumpkin patch, pick your own. You, you can, select your pumpkin you can pick your, your pumpkin. You can pick your friend's. And you can pick your nose, but you cannot pick your friend's nose. That might, I just want to see if it will even fit. Oh, that's a fumble. Um, are you saying what I'm doing is a fumble? No. That's is that too many words? I don't know. Let's do our pumpkin patch. What color? Probably 
matching the truck and then like the pop of orange right there. So I've already decided and nobody has to tell me otherwise. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am just like making a mess. We're going to do a light gray. There we go. Our pop of color will be in our pumpkins, which I'm going to do with both the color orange and pumpkin. I'm just going to kind of do a little multicolored effect. <clears throat> Should look okay. I think. I've been I've been loving. Loving, loving, loving the fall leaves with the different colors and the pumpkins with the different colors. Even though it doesn't feel like fall at all, not one bit. Aaron, you should come wash these for me. Get Ser Seriously. We have the, who is this? Penn State and Iowa. What happened to Halftime. Michigan State and Notre Dame? Well, we were watching Michigan State and Notre Dame. How do I do this? I've never watched it. Oh, use your hands and... Yeah, both hands. There you go. I put my husband to work. He's now washing my transfers. Okay, so we've got some gray gray. And I want to do this. Okay, I think I should be safe to put my pumpkins on there. And do a little fun trick. You can see my shoes down there. I got new, new tennis shoes. The kids call them kicks. I got some new kicks. I got me some new kicks. All right. Now, I want to be able to. There we go. This one's done. Why does it stand there? All right. That one's done. You can leave it in there. Is it? Oh, I didn't even notice that there are some vines on here. Ooh, I may need some. I would what do you think, green or brown? Blue. Aaron? <sighs> <laughs> Can we get some, like, greenish brown? Did we do pumpkins already? We've done pumpkins before, but this is different. This is pumpkins in a truck. State is getting spanked. And I will tell you, Dana Kessler, I kind of like it. I do for sure. Aaron does faux show because he doesn't like state. No, I like Notre Dame. He likes Notre Dame, but he also doesn't like state. Um, Dana said you need to be nice to me. Ha! Thank you, Dana. I appreciate that a lot because we're talking about you know what. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just putting some, like, of this. This color is called pumpkin. These tubs work better. And those tubs are just kind of easy. So, oh, I, I have some different kind of, like, tubs for my... Oh, what did I do with the orange? Oh, here's the orange. And then I think... I'm going to use a small squeegee for this because... Oof, I need some more orange. I got, I have some new, but my orange, this one is um, getting so used up. I have to like spray a little water in there to get it good again. Hi, Kim. Okay, here we go. Some darker orange with my little... And I'm going to try so hard to keep the color on the pumpkins and then only have like the green. I don't, what is this? Is that a pumpkin? Somebody tell me because I am totally, <laughs> I have no idea. What is that? Is it a pumpkin? What is it? 
Is it? Piece of a vine? I don't know. Piece of a vine. Like, so do I do it orange or do I do it green? Oh my gosh. Quick, before all of this dries. Green. You think it should be green? I think there's part pumpkin there. Looks like trash. <laughs> I think it's part pumpkin. I really do. So I'm just going to start here and I'm going to do part pumpkin. Or just don't cover it if you're unsure. If I'm unsure, I could not cover it. Thank you, Aaron, Mr. Obvious. Seriously. Okay, so here I'm just going in with um a small squeegee and I'm blending these colors and I'm trying to stay away from the vine part which I'm going to color green which I didn't notice before in my haste Denise said that another one she quickly looked at has it in the vine color in the vine color okay well mine is part orange <laughs> And part will be part viney. Okay, this is hard. Well, it's not. It's not. It's just I stress out. And I really can't save this. So I'm going to. Okay. Next, we'll go with a little green just to get this done. Tiny bit. I might just get it off my cap. Oh, oh my gosh, you didn't see that, but I just completely flipped my cap upside down on top of one of my backs. So now I'm going to have to clean it off. Oh, I need more green. Seriously. Okay, this will be green. That's definitely green. And that's green. Okay. Peel to reveal. Please do not stick to my truck and pull up any gray. <gasps> Yay! You guys, look how cute! I love it! Those pumpkins really pop. Oh, I'm so happy. And look, the rusty old truck doesn't look too shabby because it has pretty pumpkins. I agree, Denise. Oh my gosh, yes, me too. So, oh, okay. Looks like trash. Oh, no. <laughs> Dana. No, that wasn't rude. It wasn't rude. It was a it was a joke that what this little thing down here was. So she didn't really mean it looked like trash. I said, what is this thing down here? Is it a pumpkin? And she goes, it looks like trash to me, like falling out of the truck. So it's totally not being rude. Okay, now, do I... <laughs> I oh, good, good. I think I did it the right way. Do I put pick your own here? Should I add that? Yes. Aaron says yes. Somebody else? Anybody? I mean, I mean, either that or I put vine ripened. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. And then what color? I'm stressed. Yes. Do I put it? Hi, Laurel. Oh my gosh. Is that? No, it's not too big. Okay. Pick your pumpkin looks like this. Vine ripened is going to be, let me get it. It's small. So let me um, cut it out, but I kind of like, what? Oh, 
was laughing at commercials. So vine ripens would be small. What do you think? Pick your own or vine ripened? Vine ripened. <clears throat> you think vine ripened? I think it's a stressful Saturday night when you can't figure out if you should put pick your own pumpkin or vine ripened. So pick your pumpkin or vine ripened. Pick your own. That's kind of what I thought. I kind of feel like even if I put that there, it'll be cute, but there'll be like, I know I don't need to fill all the space, but I just feel like I should put pick. Oh, we'll get a lot of vine oh man. Now we're like three to two, Jessica. Actually, Aaron, if he counts, it's four to two. Well, then I better make sure this is dry because vine ripened will go right. It'll touch it. Try it and see. And you can always watch it off because it's Chalkology chalk paste. You are so smart, Dana. Hi, Holly. I did not treat, I did not wax this chalkboard. F-Y-I. Nope. All right, so we're going to try vine ripened because a hey, Ron doesn't count. Well, then it's three to two. Or am I three to three? I think I'm still losing. It doesn't matter. All right. Is that centered? Um, All I have to do... To know if it's centered is look at my new tool wait till you see it omg this is my favorite thing it's my new tool isn't that awesome <laughs> there is an arrow oh my goodness there is an arrow it's right here should i do something with the arrow Oh, good idea, good idea, good idea. Dana, you do. We are memory keepers, laser square. I ended up looking all over online and I ended up just getting it from Amazon. All right, Denise, you are hired as my all-time art um, mentor. You can just... Would the vine ripen fit on the side of the cup like in the truck door? I don't think so. The vine ripen fit? I don't. All right, what color is my vine ripen going to be? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm the exact same way. I very much am good at, um, like, copying and borrowing and, you know. Okay. So that look, and then if I do the arrow on either side, it'll just be bloop, bloop. Right? Am I right after I do the words? Uh, All right, what color is my vine ripen going to be? Anybody? Oh my gosh. Aaron? Nothing? I, I don't know. Should I just gray? keep it dark? Just keep it gray? All right, I'm going to keep it simple. Yeah, because then you, the only color is the pumpkin. So. Yeah, I like my pumpkin. Green, white. Oh, my gosh. Oh, white. I didn't even think of white. Use the green from the pumpkin stem. Okay. All right, because vines are green, right? So I don't have tractor green. Unfortunately, that was one that they took out before. Would my green arrow be green? So you want white vine ripened and then green arrow? Exactly. Was that? That exactly has to be like from something else. All right. Green and white. You just want me to do green and white and I don't like state, so I don't. Green arrow. Either way. Okay. I'm going to do all green. Pumpkin patch is elephant. The light gray. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do green. Because I have it. And I'm ready to go. Okay. 
Okay, now. Now, 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 now. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna do my arrow. Is that your aunt, Karen? Mm -hmm. Not your mom, right? Did she ever have a picture? No. Hi, Karen. Aaron's here too. Say hi, Aaron. Hi, Karen. <laughs> he is so, so nice. He's Aaron's coming up to Minnesota on Tuesday. He's gonna he's gonna go fishing with your husband. Oh my goodness. I'm almost done so that I can do my arrow. But this has to be like totally I feel like it has to be dry and cooled. You know what I'm saying? Like when it gets warm. I feel like it's easier to lift off. Oh, I'm fanning it and it's moving my thing. Okay, well this was fun. Oh no, I'm gonna keep it there because, you know why? I wanna make sure my arrow goes straight. Hi Maureen. Maureen, if you can hear me, Brooke looked awesome for um, homecoming tonight. Hey, Amy. Amy. Hi, Amy. Car sick. Oh. Yeah. When I was um, fanning, when were fanning it. it, your phone was shaking. I apologize. Okay. Now, arrow is green still. Am I right? You do need that laser tool. We are memory keepers. Okay, I gotta turn it off now so that I can see what I'm doing. I turned off one of the lasers. Oh, okay. I might use that in the Okay. Garage. You're not going to use this in the garage. Oh, I might not be equal. I have to get down and look at that. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven? Eight. Level seven. 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 The road to Hana. Oh, my gosh, Dana. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got to look at this up close. I need a little bit more green on the left. I'm sorry. I put you at a seven. That was the worst. That was the worst. I, I tell you what, I don't get car sick unless I'm in Hawaii on the road to Hana. Okay. I'm peeling it. I think I'm good. If it's uneven, I will fix it. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's off center. Oh, I can't so, believe I did that. So much for your tool. I am so. You know why? Because I didn't even pay attention to them. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. Oh, hi, Amy. This is why I haven't messaged you back because I was doing this, and I need to wash that off. And I'll do it again, but I won't. Oh my gosh, that's making me so crazy. <laughs> Seriously, I can't even, you know what? I can just wash off one side and redo this and make it longer. <laughs> oh, you want the arrow white? I, I don't <laughs> want green and white, Laurel. You know that about me. You're getting spanked anywhere. Yep. They can't keep up to, you know. Whoever they're playing. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Oh, it's back on. I see. Laurel, did you do any chalking today? Or did you do enough last night?
Okay, now, you're a, you're a U of M fan too. How can you be both? No, Laurel, you weren't on. He wanted me to make a royal blue truck with orange pumpkin because he thinks, what was that? I don't know. He thinks he loves those colors. Oh, that's right in the wedding. Oh, how did that go? I was going to ask if they loved your gift or um, did they love your sign? Because you gave it to them ahead of time, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous. Now it's not even going to be right. Well, I definitely need this. That one. And this needs to go to the edge. Like to the edge of that. Okay. There. Okay. Green. Green, green, green. I guess that's the best part of chalk couture or couture. How do you say it? I have had the hardest time. I thought I was saying it right. And then I hear other people saying it differently. Is it chalk couture or is it chalk couture? You know what I'm saying? Outdoor wedding with ninety-five degrees. Oh my gosh, that's worse than an outdoor wedding with forty-five degree coldness, which we had to do once. Two years ago, September thirteenth. Two years ago, September thirteenth. It was like forty-five degrees. All right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. It didn't take too long. You guys all were helpful. I appreciate it. And awesome. Thank you for the hearts. Share my video, guys, so everybody sees it. Laurel, you get to sit back and relax. Oh, my gosh. I would die. I would die if my, la my dress was lace and long-sleeved in 95-degree heat with, like, heat index of 100 and it's humid. It's just humid. Not even like a dry heat, you know? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, Laurel, are you still there? Look at this. Look what I did with my, um, with my board. I made it like super distressy. You'll have to go back and watch from the beginning and then, um, check that stuff out. I showed my boards. All right, guys, it's, uh, getting late. And um, I'm going to sign off for the night. So everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Bye, everybody. Aaron says bye.